because they can, you know, vouch for his accuracy. <laughs> okay, so this is this is called Alan's song. There's been some changes at the factory that affected Alan's normal state of being. They're testing folks at work, and he might lose his perks if evidence of reefer can be seen. And now Alan can't smoke a reefer anymore. Alan can't smoke a reefer anymore. No, Alan can't smoke a reefer because he'd activate a beeper when they test his body fluids at the door. Well, I met Alan many years ago. I hung around him, this is what I know. He never lies around the room like some decompressed balloon, like those government ads on TV I always show. Now Alan can't smoke a reefer anymore. Now I can't smoke a reefer anymore. Someone's preoccupied with how he spends his spare time. That's why Alan can't smoke a reefer anymore. Republicans, but all his life it's never bothered him. For over 50 years, he smoked it without fears of bureaucratic needles in his skin. Now what normal person could believe that someone wants to analyze their pee? <laughs> Senator Bob, you've done one mighty fine job of promoting this here social policy. And now Alan can't smoke a reefer every, anymore. Everybody! Alan can't smoke a reefer anymore. Well, alcohol is cheaper. It's just not the same as reefer. And now Alan can't smoke a reefer anymore. <laughs> Physician to write him a prescription. Alan can't smoke reefer. Alan can't smoke reefer. No, Alan can't smoke reefer anymore. Thank you, Tom. Tom Stembridge. I, I was wondering, you know, the, the vagabonds are here, and I wondered if they'd like to come up and do a couple tunes with me. Got the lovely Leanne and Tian.